So in the last video, I showed you how to take user input and how to use that for your program. In this video, I want to show you how to use an if else statement, which can also be used as an expression in Kotlin. And these are control flow statements. But let's get started immediately by creating our first if else statement. And the first thing we have to do actually is create a number, which is going to be a random number between minus 10 and 10. And we just have to use the method random after that. And that will generate a random number between minus 10 and 10, 10 inclusive. And we're just gonna write print line random number equals, and we have to interpolate that of course, equals number. So we know what number it generated. Then we can create our first if statement. And we're gonna use it as an expression because in Kotlin you can use if as an expression, which is really great. So we're gonna write value result equals if number is more than zero, we are going to return the string positive number. Else, if the number is equal to zero, we're gonna return the string number is zero. And finally, it requires an else statement in case none of these two are true. We write, if it's not positive and it's not equal zero, then it must equal a negative number. So we're gonna write negative number. So this checks whatever number we generated here. And if it is more than zero, it's gonna return the string of positive number and it's gonna assign it to result. And it's gonna do the same thing for the other two. If it's equal to zero, this turns into number zero. And if it's neither of the two above, it's gonna turn this result value into the string negative number. But let's print line the result. So we're gonna do print line result equals interpolated result. Then we can just go ahead and click on play. So as you can see there, the random number generated was eight. So the result was a positive number. And we can also make this simple by not making it random and adding a minus 10. Then it will tell you it is a negative number. And finally, if the number is zero, a zero number or a number is zero. And that is the first basic use of an if and else statement. And up next, I'm gonna show you how to create an if else expression that also executes multiple lines of code. And let's get started immediately by creating two values. One's gonna be value A, which is gonna equal one. And the second one's gonna be value B, which is going to equal 12. Now we're gonna create val largest number. And that's gonna be an if statement of if A is more than B, we're gonna create this block and we're gonna write print line A is larger than B. And right below, we're gonna return the value of A. So the final value that you return at the bottom of an if statement is gonna be the one that gets assigned to the largest number. And then we're gonna write an else block because it requires it here. And we're gonna write print line B is larger than A. And right under, we are going to assign B as the largest number. Then at the bottom, we can just write print line and do largest number equals, and we're gonna type in the largest number. When we click on run, you'll see that the largest number is 12, and it will also execute that B is a larger number. So everything inside these blocks, you can write as many statements or expressions as you want, and it will execute all of them, and it will return the final value and assign it to the value you created up here. Also keep in mind that it is possible to use if as a statement by itself. You do not need to assign it to anything, but of course, let me show you that if we have value A again as two and value B as three, we can write if A is less than B, which is always gonna be true, we can write print line hello. So it's not required to use if as an expression. You can use it as a statement if you want. And if we run this beautiful program, you will see that the program says hello because two is less than three and that is logic for you. And finally, there's one more concept to discuss and this one's called nested if else statements. So it is possible to nest an if else statement and what does that mean? Now let's pretend we want to compare three numbers. So we're gonna do value number one equals one value number two equals 100, and value number three equals 666. Well, now we can write a new if expression. So we're gonna write value max equals if n1 is more than n2. We will write another if statement inside, and it will be if n1 is more than n3. It will return 
n1 as the biggest number, else it is going to return n3. And since this is a nested if statement, we still have one more to go for, so we can do else if n2 is more than n3, we will return n2, else we will return n3. So let me explain this real quick. Right here we check if n1 is more than n2, if n1 is less than n2, it will skip this altogether and it will check if n2 is more than n3 and it will print one of the two results. This is how you use a nested if else statement and if we print the results, you'll see that 666 should be the max number. So we're gonna do max number equals max and we will click on play. And here, as you can see, max number is 666. And if we change this to 20, we will have 100 as the output. Perfect. And there's one thing that I forgot to mention, that is, if you want to simplify a very basic if-else expression, you can actually turn that into something that was similar to the ternary operator in Java. And let me just show you what I mean by that. So we're gonna write value A equals 12, and value B equals 15. So here we can write value max equals if a is more than b, we can just return a, else we return b. And that's a simple way to simplify an if-else expression. But keep in mind that this only works if you have a single statement on each end. And now if we print line, we'll just type in max this time because I can't be bothered to write all of that text, you'll see that the max number that it will output is 15. And that's all I wanted to show you regarding if-else statements. And if this video was of use to you, please consider leaving a like. I will try to put out a few more videos every day. But uh, otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and yeah, bye.